Hey guys, Ray from LoveYRV.com. A little bit bored today. We're just kind of hanging out in a casino parking lot. It's Thanksgiving Day. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to all my American pals down here. Hope you're enjoying your turkey and your family. We've decided just to kind of spend the day uh, free camped in a casino parking lot and kind of stay off the roads. I don't know how busy it's going to be out there with everybody driving around. So uh, I thought I'd give you a look at how I have everything set up in the truck as far as all my gauges. Now I've added quite a few things to to our Ram truck to help when we're towing and this is kind of the setup I've arrived at so far. Um, you can see there's very little wires. I've done a good job at not having any clutter as far as wires. Uh, starting over here I have um, my tire pressure monitoring system. I'm using the Guta. Reviewing that right now. Uh, I did have a uh, easy tire for many years and it's almost exactly the same so that way I can uh, I mount it right in the corner of the window here so I can monitor the pressure and especially the temperature I like to keep an eye on the temperature in case a wheel bearing is starting to overheat or a brake brake is dragging I can pick up on that quite quickly so every once in a while I'll glance over and check this one's actually monitoring my four truck tires and my four trailer tires. So that sits over there. It has a rechargeable battery and it lasts quite a long time. I can go days and days between recharges. So I don't need a wire for that. Uh, my Ram truck is just a, a tradesman type truck. So it's very basic. So I usually leave this screen on. I think it's the, the best screen to have when I'm towing because it'll show me my coolant. Um, most important, my trans temperature, oil temperature, and then there's oil pressure. And then over here I have an add-on device in my OB, OBD2 port. Um, and it's a blue driver. And when I'm towing, I like to have this screen on and it gives me all my exhaust gas temperatures. And usually I find this most important when I'm towing big grades, like right now we're just going to go through the mountains. So I just want to keep an eye on, on what the temperatures are as far as exhaust gas, see if I'm pushing the truck too hard or not. And also I can kind of sometimes see if it's going to go through a, a regeneration of the diesel, diesel exhaust fluid and all that kind of crap that's in there, all the emissions. It'll kind of tell me if it's doing an active regeneration. So that's my actual phone and it's just on a magnetic mount there. Sometimes I'll also um, put on my uh, tire, my battery monitor um, system, my trimetric, and I can, if I'm actually charging while we're going with my DC to DC charger, I can see what voltages are going on there. Um, there's also an app to check my propane levels. And then often I'll, in the city, sometimes I'll use Google Maps on that because I find the Google Maps sometimes is a little better than my big Garmin, but my big Garmin 7-inch display here is mounted on what they call a, a goat mount um, for the Rams, so it mounts quite nicely there. And with the big display and matte finish, it doesn't get too much reflective um, reflections going on. I like to have this speed limit here, um, tells me all the speed zones, and it goes red if I'm going above the speed limit. And this one I can put a time till we get to our destination, but sometimes I like elevation too if I'm going up high into the mountains. But it's been a pretty good unit. I bought it, wow, a couple, three or four years ago now, at least we've had it. And it's got lifetime maps, so I keep updating it once in a while and it keeps performing well. And then up here is my rear view camera, my Halo View. It also has a 7 inch display. And usually I'll keep it on the rear view. This is what's looking out the back of the trailer right now. But I also do have side cameras that I can take a look at. There we are. So there's one on each side of the RV as well. So I can have this up if I want when I'm driving. Don't normally need it. Usually I use the side cameras when I'm pulling into tight spaces, backing into tight, tight spaces. And I want to see down the side of the rig. But mostly I have this thing on. Now I've kind of set it up. My view isn't too blocked. Um, this is kind of, let's go to eye level here. You can see that's down right about the dash line. This one is below the dash line. And then this is the only one that's kind of has any kind of blockage. It's right on the rear view. 
it sits down maybe about an inch below and then it's the only one that has a cord actually this, this one gets power coming out of the dash um, I took apart the dash and hardwired everything in there so I have this thing the power wires coming right out there and this one just comes up like that my actual dash cam the dash cam there and that one I wired all the way around through the headliner and stuff so anyway that's what uh, things look like the view in the command <laughs> command module of uh, love you RV as we're cruising down the road I'll put links to each of those items if you want to see a little more in-depth about them till next time Ray from loveyourv.com thanks for watching everyone cheers folks